Hello, everyone, and uh, welcome to our free course. My name is Vianney Hernandez. I'm a technical support specialist at Promine, and I'm a geologist. And uh, well, we, today we're going to learn about mine planning. And if you register for this course, they send you a drawing that we will be working with. So, uh, well, if you don't have that drawing, I will just send you a link so you can download it while we see a little bit about Promine. So, one second, I will share the link with you. So, okay, one second. Okay, the link is going to be on the chat if you don't have the drawing. Please download it uh, if you want to follow this course with me. And if you have any question, please write it on the Q&A part and I will read your questions in any time. If you want me to repeat one part, uh, let me know and we can see that part again. So, uh, well, yeah, the, the link for the drawing is there. For those that have a free trial license, you can, uh, well, follow me. And, okay, so we are going to start. Remember that this is going to be recorded on YouTube, on our uh, YouTube channel. You can see it later. Uh, but if you want to follow me, we can, uh, well, yeah, you can do that. And I will stop sharing my screen. And okay, one second. Okay, so uh, first, before starting with our drawing, while you uh, download it, I will tell you a little bit about Promine. Just one second. Okay. And uh, well, as I told you before, today we're going to see uh, my planning. Okay. So, um, well, ProMine is a Canadian company that was established in 1993. It offers software, software services for mining industry, focus on mine design, survey, and jelly tools for underground mines. Our headquarters are uh, in Quebec. This is our web page and our phone number. And we have uh, many clients around the world, over 100 clients, and we have a, a strong presence in Canada, USA, Mexico, Peru, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, and Central America and Africa. So our mission is to help our customers be more efficient and more profitable in just a few clicks. Promine is a software solution built by uh, mining, survey, and geology experts. And it is an extension of AutoCAD. So if you already know uh, how to use AutoCAD, it is, it is going to be really simple um, uh, because it's, uh, well, we work uh, as an extension of AutoCAD. Uh, well, providing additional functionality specific, uh, specifically oriented towards the mining industry. So our focus is the development of technology for underground mines, survey, as well as mining uh, geology. And we have uh, five categories. You will see a little bit more about this when we start our webinar, well, our free course. And uh, well, the categories that, that we have is essentials, serving, modeling, engineering, and products. And uh, well, uh, why we do this about mind planning? Uh, we need to have a sequence of operations to see what goes next, what uh, goes before, what needs to be done before you start your task that you were assigned. And we also do it to assign uh, equipment and people. And all of this is to ensure that the intended sequencing and production targets are realized. So uh, now we're going to start with ProMine and you are going to understand more about all this when we start uh, with ProMine. This is the drawing that I share with you. So you can open it now. And as you can see, the left part is AutoCAD and the, and the right side is ProMine. So we have modeling, where we, I'm sorry, essentials, we, when we have like the basic things. For example, sections, we have a filer, ProMine tools, and well, basic things. Uh, one second, someone has a question. Yeah, uh, well, uh, someone is asking for the video after the training. And this video is uh, on YouTube. So we are uh, live right now on YouTube. You can go to ProMine and it will be the last video that is there. So you can watch it anytime. And this is our drawing, the one that we share with you. 
Uh, so yeah, I was telling you that uh, in the other category that is called modeling, we have um, we have different ways to work with your data. So it depends on how you uh, get your information, uh, the, the one that is going to help you to, to work with that. And then we will go to engineering where we have things like a uh, drip blast underground, drip design, stop design, and mine planning. Today we're going to work with this module. And in general, in two, we have a uh, drill blast surface, drip, uh, drilling and blasting, and when, uh, other ones. And pre-geox is a uh, focus on geology. So we have diamond drill holes, block modeling, and well, geostatistics, and other ones. So we'll go back to engineering one, where is our, uh, the module that we will be working with. Uh, well, okay, yeah, we can get a, you can get a certificate for this training. Um, we will send you a few questions about this course. And if you uh, answer them correctly, you will get a certificate. And uh, is there anything for OpenPit? Uh, right now, uh, we have one module that is called pit planning. Um, uh, well, of course, this uh, pro mine is focused on underground mining. But if you require it, uh, well, we can see it and we can see what we can develop for you because uh, everything is mainly for underground mine. Uh, but yeah, we have a module, but we are still working on that. And if you are interested, we can develop uh, other things for you. Well, thank you for your questions. And now we are going to start. So as you can see here, we already have a drip. And I did it for you to see how it is going to be done at the end. So you can uh, follow me and see what I'm talking about. So uh, this is the drift that we designed. And you already have this one. And, and the purple ones are uh, going to be tasks. So for example, this one is for the ventilation. And these are uh, blocks. So it shows you the information that, that, you, um, that you are in here, uh, I'm sorry, in the options. So we're going to see that later. But I want you to see how it looks like and what we, we're going to do. So today we're going to work with another level and we're going to do the same. We're going to add some tasks and um, a block mining and well, the grid, of course. So, um, if we turn on the layer called 3D OR, we're going to see here our OR, our body, and well, here it is. And the one that you already have in there is called um, uh, 1150. So that it is in that level. And today we are going to work with the, we're going to call it, well, we are going to create a section. But we are going to work with the 1,125, okay? Okay, one second. Yeah, uh, at the end, I will tell you how to get the certificate. As I told you before, you will get a few questions. You have to answer them. And then um, uh, we will send you a certificate if you answer it correctly. Yeah, we send the, the quiz uh, after the training. You, you have a few days to answer that. Uh, it is not going to be immediately after we are done with the training. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Usman. Ilias, um, I, I, I don't know which comment you mean. We are just starting, don't worry, I will uh, do this again. So, okay, we'll go back to plan view. And as I told you, we are going to work with uh, the level 1125. So we are going to turn off uh, these layers. I'm going to keep this one. And we're going to create a um, Okay. Uh, how to access the, the uh, layer properties manager. 
you have to type on the command line layer, just like that. I'm going to close this one so you see how it works. Layer, hit an enter and you will get this. So uh, to turn off the layers, you have to click on this uh, in this one. And right now we only have on and the uh, 3D or that is this one. Okay, one, one second. Okay, so um, we are going to create a, a section to see it from the level 1,125. Okay, so we will go to essentials and then we have this module called uh, sections. We will go to code one section and we are going to uh, set a name that is going to be level 1125. Okay, so here we have many ways to create a section. It, it, it can be looking west, looking east, looking south, with an elevation, with an azimuth, and well, we have uh, many other options. So, first, we are going to set the coordinates that is going to be 1125. And we're going to work with elevation because we want it to uh, cut it in that elevation. Okay, so we can pick and select it from, from the drawing, or we can just uh, uh, set the coordinates from here. Yeah, um, so they are asking us if uh, the software can also be used for research modeling and estimations. And yeah, uh, yeah, it can be used for that. Okay, uh, so we are going to uh, create our section and we're going to set elevation and the elevation is going to be 1,125. Okay, just one second. Okay, so now that we have this uh, configuration, the name of the section, and we are going to set uh, select elevation and set the elevation 1,125. Uh, so that's all we need. We're going to click in okay. One second. So cut your section, please, and let me know if you have problems with the section. Uh, okay. So I'm asking someone to answer the questions that uh, are not uh, about the process so we can continue with the process and the, the ones that have questions uh, can can get an answer Okay, so uh, let me see. I will. I won't read the ones that. Uh, yeah, I won't read the ones that are about something else. I will just read the ones that are about the course, and the person that is going to join is going to answer those questions uh, through the chat. So uh, just one second. Right now we're working with Promine. Okay. Okay. So now that uh, we have our section, uh, we'll uh, well now everyone has a section, and you have to have this layer called level one thousand one hundred and twenty-five. So we are going to use another um, command that is offset, and we're going to set in here offset in the command line. Just write offset. You hit an enter, 
And now you have to select, uh, I'm sorry, the second, the distance. Okay, so the distance is going to be 20 meters and that's because we can't start immediately in our own body. So we are going to start 20 minutes from there, I'm sorry, 20 meters from there. So I'm going to set, uh, you have to write in here 20, then you hit an enter, and you have to select the, ob the object. So we're going to select this object, and here we have our uh, offset. So I'm going to click in here. You, you have to click outside, and then you click on exit. So this way you will get this drawing, and I will uh, turn on this layer. Please let me know if, if you could do this. We will go back to plan view with the command uh, S E C P. We hit and enter. And here we see our, our section that we made on the 1125. Okay, so we are going to work in this part of our old body. Okay, so we will go back to, to our plan view. Please let me know if you have uh, questions about this part. Okay, so uh, we are going to start with our um, with the one that we are going to see today called my my planning. I'm going to turn on some turn off some layers, and we are going to work only with the level one thousand one hundred and twenty five. So you have to only have that one uh, there. Okay, so uh, someone is asking us why the offset. That's because we can't work immediately in the other body. So it is uh, just for us to have a reference of where to start our, our um, drifts. So uh, we, we want to mine this part. And the 20 meters is just to see where we are going to start our drift. Okay, so it's just for that, just uh, to see where we can start. So, uh, well, before we continue with that, we are going to see the options. And that's because Promine or something that uh, defines Promine is that um, you, you can modify everything depending on your mind. So uh, we have uh, in here many options. We will go first to resources. And these resources is going to be everything. As I told you before in the presentation, uh, we need to know what resources we are going to be using in each part of our process. So uh, the first thing that we have to set is what do we have uh, available in our mind? So for that, we would go to resources and resources are the things that are going to last more than one day, okay? Because we also have materials and there is a difference within, between them. Resources is for uh, things that are going to last more than once. So for example, it's going to be our equipment. Here we have, for example, this one. And if we click on uh, edit, we have the description that is the name, the availability, for example, in here, 80%, and the cost per day. So the cost per day could be anything. As you can see here, it, it doesn't say dollars or yeah, anything. So if you're in Canada, it can be Canadian dollars. In the USA, it can be dollars, American dollars. If you're in another part, it can be whatever. So you can put in here the currency that you are uh, using. And uh, well, you click in OK. So you can uh, uh, remove the ones that you have in here. You can add new ones. You only need the description that is going to be the name that is going to be shown. So for example, in here, Jumbo uh, 1 or Mixer and the availability of this equipment and the cost per day. So that's all you need. Now we will go to materials. And here you have things that are going to last uh, once or yeah, and no more than once. And uh, for example, we have a pipe, we have rock bolts and cable. So if we go to one of these ones, we click on edit, we're going to see the description that is only a name and the cost per unit. So in this case, it's going to be four, whatever, $4 for dollars, uh, for, yeah. So now, uh, well, so that's the difference between resources and materials. This one is going to be uh, to last more than, than once. And the other one is uh, going to be uh, just for, for one time. 
So now we will go to category, and this is um, this is about the the financial area. So it can be per years, or you can work with capex, opex. That is the capital expenses and the operation operational expenses. So it depends on how your mind works like, and it is just um, the text. So if you click in, in edit, you can see that it's just a text. So it could it could be a, anything, but it, it is about the financial thing. So okay, yeah. So someone wants uh, to know the difference between resources and materials, and uh, well, the the resources are going to be things that are going to last more than once. So for example, an equipment, you can use it for many years, okay? So if you go in here, you will have the cost per day. And that's because you can use it many times, okay? If you go to materials and you select one of them, it will say cost per unit, okay? So it's one thing that you're going to use only once and that's it. So you have to get many of these uh, uh, in comparison of the other one that is going to be one or well, of course you can have many, but it's going to be the cost per day because you can use that for a long time, okay? Um, yeah, you are right. Uh, material is the same as consumables. And yeah, okay, so we'll continue. So then the destination, and this is going to be where we are going to say the material that we mine after that. So is, is it going to the backfield, for example, when we are doing the, the development part, or if it, is it going to the mill, or well, we can add any other. So when, when we add one, we can add the description that is going to be the name, the maximum uh, per days that uh, can be there, Okay, just one second. Okay. Uh, so uh, we have the description in here that is going to be the name as the other ones. Any of them that said description is just the name of the item that we, we will have in there. And we have the maximum per day and the coordinates, the location of this destination. Okay, so this in general is only going to be the part where we are going to send the material that we mine, okay, the destination. And then we have a drift types that is going to be, for example, development, and we will click in edit. You will get the same thing if we click on add, but I want you to see like the information that we have in here. And we have the name of, of, the, of the drift. We are going to have the dimensions of, the one, of these ones, the height, the width, and the advance per day. This is going to be a default, um, a default value, but you can change it when you start using uh, other commands. And the density of this uh, part, the cost per meter, and uh, here is the financial thing, the category, the destination, where is this part that we are going to, uh, to mine and going after that. Then we have the resources, and for example, in this case, we're going to say why we need to drift this kind of, uh, I'm sorry, to mine this kind of drifts. In this case, we selected two equipments, we can add more and the, the list that you have in here is the one that we created in the part of resources. So um, you can add whatever you have in your mind and when you click on add, it is going to appear in here. So in this case, we are going to use only these two ones, but uh, yeah, it depends on what you need. And then we have the materials. And again, we will have the same list we had in there. Okay, so here we have a uh, to set, uh, yeah, how many do we need? For example, if we go to this one, we are going to uh, use, uh, here we will have uh, the quantity and per length or in total or per tone or per day. Okay, so you have to set 
how many of these uh, how many of these do you need and i don't know every uh, i don't know in total for the the whole drift or per tone or per day so you can select these ones and this is how you can edit the information for the drift types okay one second Okay, so we'll continue. And now we have our mining blocks. So here we're going to set in the, uh, for example, I will, I will go to the first one. And we have the description that is going to be 1,000 uh, tons per day. Okay, so uh, that's only the name. As I told you before, it, it is not going to affect anything. That's only a name. And we have the tonnage per day that in, in this case, for example, is going to be 1,000 uh, uh, tons per day. And then we have the cost. In this case, it's going to be 120 per ton, okay? And we have the destination, the destination of this <laughs> mining. Okay, and one second. And uh, we have, uh, as I as I showed you before, in the one that we created, we have already some tasks and some uh, mining blocks. And in here, we can select the information that we want to see in this block. So for example, the name, that is going to be this one, the duration, the start date, the end date, and the tonnage. Okay, so we can uh, set this information in here. We can add the material that we want or we, we need for this. I will go to another one. And for example, in here, we need pipes and uh, well, this is screen for, uh, for per four. And we also have the grades and it is going to be only a default value. As you can see in here, we have a uh, silver and a uh, gold and we have one and uh, we can add and we can add it from here. Okay, so don't worry if you don't see the like any other grade or any other mineral. You can change this in options, but uh, yeah, you can select in here the grade and the value in it is going to be just a default value. You can change this be, uh, after. Okay, so we have that. And now we have the tasks. So this is going to be things uh, like for ventilation, for support, and things that we have to do, okay, but uh, that I are not related to mining something. It's, uh, for example, ventilation on support. So when we select one of them, I will go with this one, we will have a window that is like the one with mining block. We can select what we want to see in our, in our block. The one that I showed you before is the same one. And we have to set the resources that we need for this a kind of task, the materials that we will use, and well, that that's all about this one. Okay, so we already saw all of them. Uh, do you have any questions about any of them? Is there one that you want me to to show again? Okay, I can see that three uh, participants are raising their hand. Please uh, write on the chat so we can answer your question. Okay, so this part is uh, just about planning. Right now, we're doing that. And for example, we have a task that is going to be stop drill blast for the person that asked about that. And here we have it as a task. So the only thing that we have to set in here is the resources that we, we will need and the materials. I don't know if, if you mean more about the task. This is just about scheduling all the process 
And of course, we, uh, we need to drill and blast. And uh, these are the resources that we will use for that, that task and the materials. So in here, uh, it is only about scheduling our tasks. And uh, of course, we have another module for the drill blast on the ground. But right now, that is only about uh, planning. Okay, so does anyone else have a question? And remember that there is a part that is called Q&A. Please uh, type your question there so we can answer it. Okay, yeah, so in drift types, somebody is asking about uh, drift types, it's just going to be the kind of things that we have. So for example, in the first part of our mind, remember that this part is our, our body. So in the first part, we are going to have a development. Okay, so we will set the type of drift that we are working with. And it is important to set a type of drift because when we insert our, for example, our uh, GAN chart, we will see what we are doing in that part. If we are getting, a, for example, in here that we have a ramp, that is another one that we could use, uh, we can see in our GAN chart that we are working on our ramp in that moment. So it is only about information, but it is important because we can see the process of all uh, um, our mind. So uh, yeah, it could be any kind of a uh, drift. I don't know, sometimes they call it uh, uh, with different things. Um, but yeah, something something that, um, I don't know, you can find in many, many minds is going to be that. The first one is going to be for the development or before going to the mining block, before you can, mine uh, your stove, uh, for example, ramps or, uh, well, yeah, stove access. Uh, those are the kinds of uh, drifts, but it could be anything. As I told you before, the, the description is just a name. And the important thing in here is to have a, a name to recognize what you are doing in that part and to set the resources and the materials. So that's the important thing. Um, Okay. Okay. Uh, the questions that are not related to this, to the course are going to be answered for uh, one of my co-workers. And I'm just going to focus on the ones uh, in here. So um, one second. Yeah, uh, um, so we can, uh, well, someone is uh, telling us, I believe the OR strings were probably imported from another software. Can Promen create the modeling from beginning using the basic data, like a site color survey and jelly? Uh, yeah, so just really quickly, we have in here our survey uh, module, so we can get the information from a CSV or from uh, a, from any equipment. And uh, we also have diamond reholes where we can insert our holes from a database. Okay, so yeah, we can do everything from zero. We also have the module core uh, modeling. And all of these were made with Promine. Uh, so everything that you see in here, were made with Promine, and if you see like something that you are interested with in, uh, well, yeah, we can schedule a demo later so you can see how it works. Okay, and so okay, I, will, I already answered that. Okay, for the person that asks us for the drilling and blasting optimization. Uh, yeah, we can uh, schedule a, a, a meeting later to show you that. Uh, right now we are focusing on our cards. Uh, well, uh, you are asking us if we can schedule on the run tunnel activities in it. Uh, well, I show you tasks. I don't know if you, uh, if that's what you mean. If there is an already, please let me know. I don't know if, if you mean about, if you're talking about the tasks that we already saw. So we're going to continue. Now we're going to start, I'm sorry, we'll go to options and we will see uh, another part. 
We also have the calendars. And it is important because you know that the minds need to know exactly which days you are not working because if not, you are going to uh, have a production that is not there. So for example, let's say that uh, what we are going to call this calendar um, MPL, that is the name of our module, Mind Planning, and the frequency. For example, we're going to say that once a year, we're not going to work on um, on December the 25th because it's Christmas, okay? And we can also say weekly or monthly. In this case, it's only once, one time in the in a year. Okay, so we said 25th of December, and we'll say Christmas. And uh, well, you can add more as you can see here, and we will click in okay. And again, this is important because you need to know exactly which days you are going to work because this is about dates, about dates, about production, about, uh, about money. So you will see all these things and it is important. Okay. So we are going to continue now. And uh, well, the grade we, we need it, for example, for water, we want the water to move to one point to be able to, uh, to continue with our mind. So this one is just a default value. You can change that. But in this case, for example, it's going to be two. And the drip radius, it depends of, on your equipment. In this case, we are going to work with 12, but uh, each mind works with different uh, drip uh, radius. So we are going to close this one. And uh, well, now we're going to start. So for the ones that are following me, we are uh, on our section that is called level 1,125. We have our ore body in the center and we have the 20, uh, the 20 meters uh, offset to see where we're going to start working. Of course, our goal is to mine this ore body. So we're going to start and uh, I will tell you uh, how our modules look like. So we have the big ones. Uh, you can see in all of them, there are big ones, small ones. The big ones are going to be the most important ones. The ones that are going to make the, the most important part of the, of, of the work. So here we have insert and edit, and we have these small ones. We also have a, this one with a check mark that is going to be options where you can uh, change some values, some uh, default things. You can add your information uh, in almost all the modules. And then we have this one called custom commands. And this is because we want ProMind to work the way you want it to work. So when you click in here, you will see, for example, in this one, we only have one. But if we uh, go to another one, we will have many of them. And these are commands that uh, uh, our clients ask for. So uh, you can find things that could be useful for you or not, because uh, those are like special requests from our clients. Okay, so uh, now we're going to start. We will click on our first command called insert. And we will see this option. So we can insert a drift, we can insert a task, a mining block, or a date. In this case, we're going to start with our drift. And if you, if you can see this uh, um, green square, you can click on F3. And it is going to show you a window to select what kind of snap do you want. Okay. So you can you have to uh, activate endpoint. Uh, well, you can also yeah endpoint. So activate that one, and you will be able to do what I was doing. And we're going to start. So we'll start with our drift, and I will click in here to our drift. Okay. So as you can see, it is going to. Uh, well, I have the snaps on, so I will click in here. Okay, one second, I'm working in our um, layer zero. So I will activate 
this layer clicking in here and you will see a check mark and it indicates that you're working in that layer. So we're going to click on insert. We select drift and we're going to click in here. We select uh, the first part of our offset and you can see that you have a line in here. So what you have to do is when you are done with that part of our drift, you have to uh, hit in enter and you will get this window. Okay, so um, first we have to set the name. So for example, this, we're just uh, accessing to our offset. So we'll say that the name is going to be uh, access 1,125, okay? And here we, we can see the list that we saw before. What is this drift? In this case, this is a development. So I'm going to select that one. And now we have the default rate. So we can use the rate uh, per day that we set before in options, or we can deactivate this option and set the rate per day. In this case, I'm going to work with the one that we set before. So I'm going to activate this option. Right now, we are only in the development area, so we don't have grades. So you can just keep it like that, or you can click on, okay, we are working in this mine with silver and gold. So here we'll say that we have zero, and the next one that is going to be gold is zero as well, or you can just keep it like that in blank. Okay, and uh, well, we have to set the elevation. Our start elevation is going to be 1,125. We are going to start from here, but remember that we have a, a slope, okay? So the grade in here is going to be, is going to change. As you can see, I changed the start elevation and uh, it changed the grade because it says that my end elevation is zero. If we change that one to minus two, we're going to see that our elevation is now 1,124. Okay, so it is going to, a, um, update the information of, uh, of the other, okay? So if we change the end elevation, the grid is going to change or the start elevation. So these three ones are connected. And now we can uh, see in here the length or our first part, and we have the predecessors. So it means what we have to do before starting this drift. So if we click on add, we will see this, this list. And this list comes from the one that, uh, that I made for you before, that is the 1,150. And uh, you can select after being, uh, after being done with, with this uh, level, we will start with this other one. In this case, uh, I'm not going to do that. I will, uh, well, we will see this later when we have another drift in here. Right now, I'm going to select start on. So we have the option to as soon as possible, and it is only going to work if we have a predecessor. In this case, we don't have one, so we're going to select start on, and we will set a, a date. So we will have the year, the month, and the day. When, when are we going to start this trip? So we're going to start working on that tomorrow. So it is going to be May the 24th, uh, 2023. Okay, so we are going to click in OK. And we can see here the date that we selected and the end date. So uh, it is going to take us 20, uh, I'm sorry, 19 days, considering this a rate per day. And we will be done by June the 11th. Okay, we select the, the calendar that we created for this one. Remember that it is going to consider the days that are, we are not be, uh, going to be working. And we can set an actual process. So if you already started with this part of the of the mind, you can set a process. So, so the program is not going to start from zero. It knows that you already have a process, uh, a progress, and it is going to calculate it from there. Right now, we are going to start from zero. So we are going to keep it like that. So this is our first, uh, uh, how we're going to configure this. And do you have any questions about this window?
Okay. No questions. Perfect. So uh, we're going to continue then. And uh, don't worry, if you have questions about this, we're going to do this uh, uh, many other times. Right now we're going to click in OK. And then we have the first part of our mind. So we're going to insert a new one and we will click on Drift. And we will go from the one that we created before. And we will select this part of our offset and we will go to our other body. So as you can see here, we have a radius and it is going to be 12 for me because that's the one that I said. So once we are done, I, that's, that's why you can see this line because you can click on other parts. So when you are done with this part, you uh, hit on enter and you will get the same one. So since I click on this line, it is going to take the start elevation. That is where uh, it is the end elevation of our uh, first drift, in this case, 1,124. And the end elevation is going to be this one using this grade. So we're going to keep working with, with that grade. We can see again the, the length and the name of this one is going to be, um, we're going to set um, 1,125 and this is going to be the first one. Okay, so we're going to start mining in this area because we are already in our ore body. So as I told you, uh, the offset is only for you to know where should it be, like where it is going to start and where it will go. Okay, so it's only for that. And uh, right now we don't have grades, so we're going to keep it in blank. As I told you, you can add, add it and just put zero or keep it like that. Okay, so we're going to do that. And it, it automatically um, uh, added the axis 1000 and, uh, 125 as a predecessor. If you don't have it in there, don't worry. You just have to click on pick and select this one. You hit and enter and the access is going to be there. I will just do it again. Uh, you can remove it, pick, select this one and it is going to be there. So as you can see here, the, the date is going to be as soon as possible and you can change that. If you want to change that, you can click, you have to click on start on. But right now what it means is when we are done with this part of our drift, we are going to start working on this one. Okay, so, uh, well, that's what it means. And it will tell you how many days it is going to take you with that rate. And for example, in this one, we are going to be done by August the second. We select our calendar and we are going to click in okay. Oh, so, okay. Uh, one second. Okay, so show us how to select the predecessor. Can we select them on the graphic data? Yes, yeah, so I will just, well, I will make another example in the left side and I will show you that again. And uh, why 1,125? You can call it whatever you want. In this case, I'm calling that uh, because this is going to be our first access to our old body. Uh, but you can call it, a uh, description is just a name. So it could be whatever. Uh, so I will start with the left part to do it again. We can select this. We will go in here and we will go to our, our body. Hit then enter, and 1,125. And again, you can call it whatever you want. Um, yeah, we can just, Keep it like that or just call it zero two. Yeah, it's just it's just a name. I'm just calling that because because it's the the first the first taxes that we have to our own body. So we're calling uh, we're going to call that zero two. Well two, because the other one was one. And we don't want to start this part of our drift when we are done with this one. Because we can start as soon as we are done with the first one. So I'm going to remove that one and I'm going to click on pick. And yeah, you can select 
what is going to be the predecessor from our drawing. So I'm going to select this one, hit on enter, and here we will have this predecessor. So it is going to change the, the date. It is not going to start after we are done with this one. So when we are done with this one, um, we are going to go in this way and this way, okay? Of course, this only depends on the mind decisions. In this case, I'm just showing you what you can do uh, with your information, but yeah, it depends on, on the mind. So, uh, well, you already saw how we can uh, change this information. We are going to click in OK. And that's how we, uh, we create our drifts. So uh, do you have a question about that? Um, okay, one second. When it's done. Okay, so just uh, someone said that uh, once they understand the last information, so we just do that again. We'll click on insert. We select our drift. We select one part of our drift. Right now, I'm going to change my snap and I will say midpoint to insert one in here and here. So I will hit an enter and I will call it 1,125. Uh, I'm going to have as a predecessor this one. Uh, the predecessor could be anything. So the predecessor is going to be whatever is going to be before that drift, okay? So for example, we are going to start in here and then we will go this way and this way at the same time. We're not going to wait for this one to be done. We will start immediately after we are in this point. So the predecessor, it could be anything. It depends on the mind. The mind could say, no, we will go first to, to, to the east and then we will go to the west. In this case, I will go to the west and to the east at the same time. Okay, so uh, for example, if you want to change the name, you could say west axis, west axis, east axis, or, or yeah, the name could be anything. And so uh, that's how you create a drift. That's the only thing. Select the predecessor, where it's going to be before you start working with that part of the drift. The grades that you will get in that part in this case, in the drift, we're not going to get anything. We are not on the or body yet. Uh, so it could be zero, or you can just uh, leave it in blank. And uh, well, the information about the dates is going to be taken from the last uh, drift and uh, the length, the length and the, the rate per day. So it is going to change if we change any of this information. The length is going to be, for example, in here, 17. And it is going to take us 11 days and it will be done by August the 15th. Okay, so that's about the drift. Okay, so for those ones that say that it didn't understand the last information, um, is that clear now? Is that what you meant with the last information about the predecessors? Okay, so we're going to continue. So once we have our drifts, we already have these drifts. And, and well, we can use the bottom to edit. We'll go to that one and select, and we will uh, see the same information that we had before. So this is just for you. If, for example, you have a delay in here. So we have to say the delays that we have. How many days? Uh, where, uh, uh, if we have a delay, in this case, we are just working with a normal one, but if you have delays, you can uh, mark it in here and the minimum days of delays and the maximum days. Okay, so uh, you will see the same window that we were working with. And now we're going to start with another kind of tasks. Well, we will start with tasks. So once you are in your old body, we have to make some things before starting. Uh, 
mining. So we will go with tasks. The first thing we will need is ventilation. So we're going to select that one and we're going to click in here. We are going to insert our task and we will call it just ventilation. You can call it, call it ventilation 01 because you are in the in the one one. Um, and you have to set the duration. So the duration of a ventilation could be one day. But if you don't want to say one day and you only have to say day, you can work with 0.5. Okay, so I will just leave it at as 0.5 as an example. You can use 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3. It depends on the duration. Okay. And, and now we're going to set our precessors. I'm going to click on pick and I will select this drift. So when we are done with this part of the drift, we will start with the ventilation. I will select that one, hit on enter. And here we have our predecessor. So uh, immediately we have it assigned to as soon as possible. And as soon as possible is when we are done with this part. And uh, well, it is going to take us, it says one day, but it is 0.5. So it is going to calculate it like that. And uh, well, we can select the, the calendar and we click on okay. So the information that you have in here is the one that we change in this part. So it is important for you to know that you can add more information or work with other ones. So I'm going to click on edit in here. And the things that I had selected is the name that is going to be a ventilation one. The duration, it is going to take us 0.5 days, the start day and the end day. We can also insert the delay start, the cost per day, the cost category in completion. So uh, you can insert more information to these blocks and you can do it from there. Now that we are done with the ventilation, okay, when we are done with uh, ventilation, we will insert a new one and it is going to be a task. Now we will go to a support, okay? So we're going to select support, we click in OK, and we insert our, our task. So we're just going to call it support one. It doesn't matter which one you, uh, well, someone is asking us what, you, uh, what we have selected in task. It doesn't matter which one you have selected because you can change it from here. So the first one I had selected is fan in bullhead. Right now I'm selecting stop support. Okay, so you can change it from here. And we're going to select our predecessor. The duration of this one is going to take us three days. Well, we're going to set four days. And the predecessor is going to be our last task called ventilation one. We're going to hit in enter. And it is going to take us four days. And, um, and the date is that we're going to be done is August the 7th. So as you can see in here, you have the cost per day and it is uh, selected from options. So the things that you can change is because they are already in options. So the only things that we can change on um, our task is the predecessor, the duration of the days, and well, those are the most important things. Uh, select what is going to be before that and the duration. You can also change this as, as a start on. For example, if, if it says that we are going to continue with that one on August the 3rd, but you said, no, we're not going to continue with that one there. It will be on September the 3rd. We're not going to work in that on that task for one month. You click in okay. And as you can see in here, now it is going to be September the 7th. Okay, so you can change that one or continue with the predecessors that you had. Uh, in this case, I still have a predecessor. We know that it has to be done before we continue with this part, but we are not going to, to work uh, on that as soon as possible. We will start on September the 3rd, okay? We are going to click in okay, and here we have our uh, block with the information that we set in options, that's the other one.
Okay. Uh, so it is going to take us around uh, three more minutes. We are just going to insert our Gantt chart and show you the process. Uh, we already did the main part. Yeah, uh, well, every task, in this case, uh, as I told you before, this is about the scheduling, what you have to do. So it could be anything. In the, it depends on the mind. In this case, I'm doing it with the information that we have, but it could be anything. You can insert other tasks. For example, if you uh, have to do another thing, any of these ones, or remember that you can add any other from here. You can add it and insert it. So we're using a simple example, but you can add as many as you want. Okay, so uh, we're going to, uh, uh, when we're done with the ventilation and the support, we're going to insert a mining block. Okay, so we will insert this one and we will, select, we will see here the ones that we, are, we have available. And those ones are the ones that we set in options. So we're going to select this one, for example, 1000 tons per day, tons per day. We're going to insert our block in here. And we're going to say mining block one. We will set our predecessor. In this case, we're going to start as soon as possible. Okay, so as soon as we're uh, done with the support, we will start with our mining block. And here we uh, have the type, but as I told you before, that's only a name. It could be only like any name. It doesn't have to be a number. It doesn't have to be 1,000 ton tons per day because the, that information is going to be set in here. You uh, already said in this part of the option that this one is going to be 1,000 uh, tons per day, but you can change that in here. So you can uh, just deactivate this option and say, no, it is going to be actually, um, I don't know, 2,000 tons per day. Okay, so we can pick the, the tonnage because if we have a, an ore body, for example, in here, we can uh, uh, pick the, ton, the tonnage of that one. In this case, I'm going to say that in that part of our mining block, we will have 7,000 tons, okay? And it will, uh, the rate is going to be 1,000 per day. So of course, we are going to be done in seven days. And now in grades, we have to set this information because now we're working with our mining block. So I will uh, click on add and we will say that in this part, we have 20, 20 grades of silver. We will click on okay. And now we will say for gold, it will be five. Five grams per tonnage, okay? So, uh, well, you can set in here more grades if you want. Right now, we're going to work only with that one, but yeah, you can add more. And we can set the elevation of our block. I'm working with them with the elevation zero, but if you want them to be in the same elevation as this one, you can just set 1,125, and it will be in the same elevation. And this part is the same. You select the predecessor, you select if you want to start as soon as possible or in a certain uh, date, uh, if you have a delay in your calendar. So that's, uh, uh, this part is the same. And the left part is set the rate per day, the tonnage or this, of this part of our mining block, the grades that you will have in there and the elevation. That's uh, the only thing that is different in this part. So we'll click in okay. And here we have our mining block. Okay, so I will see the questions. Okay. Okay, no questions, but I'm going to do that again, just for you to, to see uh, how to do that. So we will insert our task and we will insert the ventilation in here. And this one is the number two. And the duration is going to be one day. We select our predecessor, that is this part of the drift. And uh, well, that, that's it. We are going to click in OK. And here we have our task. We will insert 
another one that is going to be the desktop support. We, we click in here. And the duration is going to be uh, five days. We uh, pick our predecessor. And we click in OK. Okay, so we are going to insert our mining block now. It, don't worry if you can do it in all of them. Remember that we already have one with all the information. This is only for you to know how to do this by yourself. So if you want, you can do just one of these, uh, of these ones. And then when you have time, you can practice it with the other ones. But don't worry if you can do it, all of it right now because we already have one that uh, where we have all the information. So yeah, don't worry about that. And now we will work with our mining block number two and our predecessor is going to be our support. And the tarash is going to be, uh, in this case, we're going to say 10,000, okay? And it will be, I'm sorry, 10 days, of course, because, okay, this is the read per day. It says 100, we're going to change it to 1,000. And the grades are going to be now for gold, it will be eight. And for silver, we will say, um 25. we click in okay and here we have our mining block okay so that is our tasks and mining blocks do you have a question about that okay yeah i can see that many of you are raising your hand but uh, please write on our Q&A. Okay, and uh, we're going to continue. Please uh, send your, your question through our Q&A and uh, we will answer it. And uh, well, so now that we already designed our mind, we will turn off this one. So we can continue with other things. Um, we're going to turn on the turn off the one that we, we were working with. And I will turn on the one called L1000. I'm sorry, L1150 and our layer zero. Okay, so turn on these two layers where you already have a, what we will be working with. We have the drips in here. We have a refuge in here our tasks and our mining blocks. Okay, so you already have this. And now we will see an other option. So we have the reports. As you know, the most important ones or, or the, the one that is used the most is the one called Gantt chart. So we're going to select that one. We click in okay. We select our objects. And we will get this window where we have to uh, uh, decide if we want it per day, weekly, monthly. One second. Okay. And uh, where we want to start our Gantt chart. So it could be automatic and it is going to take the information of our uh, plan. And it is going to be from the date that we started this one and the date that was done the last mining block. Okay. Or you can say, no, I only want it from, uh, I don't know, April to uh, October. Okay, so you can set in here if you want it automatic or if you want to set the days. And we also have the annotations. We can uh, select what we want to see in our Gantt chart. So it could be the date, the duration, the grades, and the tonnage. And here we will have the color. So you will see this uh, later when we insert our Gantt chart, but our drifts, so for example, these parts are going to be uh, green. You can change that in here. And our task color, for example, the ventilation and the support is going to be um, blue and the mining block is going to be pink, like the, the last ones that we inserted. And yeah, you can change that in here. And uh, we want to see the progress of each task. Please activate this one because we're going to use another command after this one. 
and we have to set where we want to send this information. So I'm going to uh, insert this Gantt chart in our layer called NL 100, I'm sorry, 1150. So we're going to click in OK. And here we have our, okay, one second. I'm going to insert our Gantt chart again. We select our things and we're going to click in OK. Okay, one second. I don't know what's going on. I probably sent it to another layer. Okay, yeah, I was, I'm sorry. I selected the level 1,120 because it is the one that is activated for me. But here we have our Gantt chart. So how we read it? So uh, we can see in the top part, the dates. So for example, in here, we have June the 1st to July the 1st. Okay, so we can see that in here and um, these bars are going to show you the task that you have to do. So this one is, for example, the first access. I'm sorry, one second, I will turn off some layers. Okay, I will just move this one to another layer to be able to turn off this layer. Okay, perfect. It looks better now. So uh, yeah, we have the green one that is going to be our shaft access. This is the name of our drip. That is this part of our drip. Then we have the date that is going to be May the 17th. It is going to take us 24 days and there is no grading here. We have zero uh, tones and uh, zero tones for gold and for silver. Okay, so we see the green ones are going to be our drips. And as you can see here, they are connected and that is because we selected uh, as a predecessor. So after we're done with this one, we will continue with this one. And this one doesn't have a predecessor, but after this one, we will continue with this one. Okay, so you can see in here what you will be doing in which date. And uh, for example, we have in here the other one, I'm sorry, we have these small ones because it only takes uh, less than one day and are blue. So we will see the same information. We have the name of our task, the date, and how many days it is going to take us. So for example, for this one, it is going to be 0.12 and for the support, it's going to be two days. Then we have our mining blocks. There are these uh, purple ones, uh, magenta, yeah, magenta. And uh, here we have the name, the date, the days that it is going to take us to mine it, and the grades. So for example, for this one, we have four tons, um, four, uh, four grams per tons for gold and 20 for silver. Okay, so you can see here, and it helps you to, to see what is going after what and, um, and how long it is going to take. So that is about the gun chart. Do you have a question about the gun chart? Okay. Okay, so that is our Gantt chart. Remember that you can uh, use the one called 1150. We already have the information in there. And when you are done with the one that we were working with, uh, you can create the one for, for this one. So you can do it as an exercise. And, okay, one second. I will turn off this one and we will continue with this part. As you can see, well, first of all, I'm sorry, I will go to a command before that one that is called set progress. Okay, so we are going to click on that one and we select our first drift. We click on okay, hit on enter, and we're going to set the process. Uh, so for example, in here, uh, we can see that the length of this drift is 73.06. And we're going to say we are, uh, we are done with 25 meters. So I'm going to click in OK. And now, well, first you see that it looks like that. And now we have a command called up, up, uh, update graphics. 
And that is because you can change anything from here and you don't have to insert the graphic again. You just have to click in here and say which one you want to update. In this, in this case, I'm going to update this one. With a, a hit on enter. And now we have this green part in here. So it is going to show us the process of our, of, uh, our tasks. In this case, our drift. In the, uh, this way, you can see what is done and what needs to be done. Okay, so that is about the gun chart now. Okay, so is it allowed to run more than one operation per day? Yes, it is. Of course, you, you can design this however you want it to be. So for example, in this case, uh, just let me be sure that this one is a correct one. Okay, one second. July the 18th, uh, July the 13th, one second, June. Yeah, so for example, this one is going to be done by July the 19th, and we will be working here on July the 18th. So you can be working here and at the same time be, be working here. In this case, when we are mining this, uh, this block uh, on July the, the 18th, let's say, because you will be done by July the 19th, you will be mining this part of the mining block on July 18th. And at the same time, you will be in this part of the mine um, uh, with other tasks. In this case, tasks for ventilation. So yeah, you can be working at the same time in different parts of your mine. And uh, as you can see, it is difficult to see it from here, but when you go to, to your gun chart, it is easier. So we can see here that these ones, these two ones are going to be, um, uh, we will be mining them at the same time. So uh, this one is going to be done before because the length is shorter, but uh, it is going to be at the same time. So yeah, we can uh, do many things at the same time. Okay, so does the software output create progress plots for uh, the tasks? Uh, so I guess what you mean is do the same thing with the progress, but with a task. So we select our task. And for example, in here, we are going to say that we are done with, uh, this one is uh, with percentages. The tasks are with percentages. So we're going to say 20%. We click on okay. And now we're going to update our graph. And well, it should be, uh, well, they, they, they are really, really small. So yeah, I don't think we can see that. Let me just see, for example, support for June the 10th, this one. Okay, so we're going to set the progress for this one. And we're going to say that is 100%. So we can see the change, okay? And we're going to select this one. And you can see that this one uh, changed. So yeah, you can do it for your drifts, for the mining blocks, for uh, the tasks, for any of them, okay? Um, okay, so it looks like no more questions about the gun chart. And we have many other reports. So you can go in the same one and you can see that we have reports of advance that it is going to show us how it is going through the time. So we're going to see just a few of them so you can see how it looks like. But in general, it's for advance, for the grades, uh, the material, the grade units, the tonnage, the end costs. So it is going to be almost, uh, well, the graphs are almost the same, but about different things. So for example, the advanced, I'm going to click in OK. We select our uh, information and we will have a window like the other one. We can select if we want it weekly or monthly or daily. Uh, we're going to set monthly and uh, we can also export this file uh, as a CSV. 
and it is going to, if we activate this option, okay? The date range is going to be automatic and uh, well, we have the, we want to see the, the subdivisions. So this one is uh, really small, but we can see in here the advance. So the meters that we are going to uh, advance in, in certain months, and we can see the dates in this part. So here we have the name of our task. For example, this one is the 1,150. And uh, we can see the, the size of our blocks. So it is going to show us, uh, in this case, the advance and the dates, how many days it is going to take. And again, as you can see, we are doing many tasks at the same time. Okay, so we are going to insert another one, for example, of grades. And we are going to insert, select it. And we can uh, do it for more than one grade. In this case, we were working with gold and silver. So I'm going to select those ones as well. We click in uh, enter. And we will get one for each grade. So we have the one for, for silver and the one for gold. So here we have the grams per tons and here and the dates. So this way we can know when we're going to start getting our, uh, well, these grades in this case. I would just do it quickly for the one that we were working with before. Okay, one second. Of course, we only inserted a few things, but well, I'm sure we can see something. Okay, one second. I will turn on this, this one, and we're going to insert one for grades. We hit and enter. We click in OK. And here we have. So uh, as you can see, I have a few here that are zero. Those are the ones in here that we selected as zero. Remember I told you that we could just keep it as a, uh, in blank or in zero. So these ones that are in zero are the ones that are appearing here. So we can see in here that from May to, Ju to July, we are not going to have any uh, grades. It will be zero because we will uh, just be starting with our mine. And after that, we will start mining our blocks. So here we will get uh, for for silver, we will start getting silver uh, more in the mining block one than in the mining block two. And uh, here we can see the grams per tonnage. So yeah, the, those are the reports that we can get, that we can insert. And uh, well, once we're done with that, these are already center lines. So we can work with our drift design module. Uh, so that's just for you to know that we, we can work with our mine planning and the drip design. Okay, so you can insert your runs from, from here. You can uh, construct that 3D model, for example. We're going to do that really quickly. Select our drift, and we're going to set uh, any option. Okay, so we are going to click in OK. I'm going to turn on this one. And it is really easy to have our 3D, 3D drift. Okay, here it is. And yeah, so that, that part was just for you to know that you can work with the drift design and the mine planning at the same time because these ones are already center lines. And you can start first with your drift design and then go with your mine planning. Okay, so these ones like are connected. And yeah, do you have any questions about reports, about the progress? Do you want me to do uh, any part again? Okay, so someone is asking how to read the graph. Okay, so I will just insert it again. One second. And in this one, we're going to erase this part. So we can start from zero and I'm going to erase our create drift and how to read the graph. 
Okay. We select the information. We're going to insert our graph again. So in the in the upper part, we will have the dates. In this case, we only have from June to July. And in this part, we will see the tasks that we have to do. Okay. So um we can see the different colors. That way you can differentiate if it is for a drift, if it is for a task, if it is for a mining block. Now you can see when it is going to start. Of course, you can see it from here or you can see it from our date in here. So it is going to start or start on May the 24th. Okay, for example, that one. This one is going to start on May the uh, 24th as well, May the 26th. Okay, so you can see in here, the text, the text is going to show you the name, the day that it is going to start, and the days that it is uh, going to take. That is for uh, the drifts and task. If you have a mining block that, has, that are the pink ones, you have the, the grades. So for example, in here, four grams, and this one, 20 grams, okay? So the way that you read it is you know the task that it has to be done and the dates. So you know that the first one that you have to do is the first one that appears in here. So as you can see here, they are moving this way. And that is because this one is the first task and this one is the last task. So that's why this one, it is really useful because this way is a little bit difficult to see what it goes first and what goes after what. And so this way you can see what goes first, what goes uh, in the last part and what is connected. So for example, this one, after, after mining this part, we will start mining these ones. Okay, so you can see a, a line that connects other. So after our shaft access one, we will start with our refuge station. In this case, in our drawing, this is the first one that is our shaft access. And this one is our refuge. So first, we, we go with this rift and then this one. After uh, this part of the drift, we will go to the east drift. After that one, the west drift, then we will go to our ventilation, our support and our mining block. You can see here that this one is not connected to anything else because uh, it is not a predecessor for anything. So now we will go back to our second task. So our second task is our stop access number one. And after that one, we follow these lines and it is going to take you to this one. Okay, so after that one, we will start with our stop access one. And after that one, we're going to continue at the same time with this task and this task. So just, uh, uh, yeah, it, it is dates tasks, and we can see which one goes after which one. And the colors just help us to know what is a, what we are doing in that part. For example, the, the red one is a drift, blue a task, pink a mining block. Okay, so that's how we read the graph. Please let me know if you have other questions about that. Okay, so someone is, ask, uh, is asking if we can show a 3D animation to understand the mining of the block. This is just information, but when you have your own body, you will have like these stopes. Uh, we can do that, for example, with our module called stop design. In this case, I don't have that one in, in, this, in this one. As I told you, mind planning is only the information. It's only scheduling the tasks that, that have to be done to know which thing is going after what, what, uh, what resources you need. Um, uh, in this case, what kind of, uh, well, no, what you are getting, for example, uh, in this case, the grades. And that's it. This is only for scheduling, okay? But if uh, what you mean is the mining of the block, uh, well, you are going to design your stop 
and then you will start my uh, mining that stove just that one okay uh, but yeah this module is only for scheduling maybe uh, soon we will have stop design remember that we have free courses every month about different uh, modules and you can always get a, a trial license in the drawing and yeah these are these are free courses uh, for the ones that are asking for a certificate you will get an email and they will send you a few questions if you answer them correctly they will send you a certificate and for the ones that are asking for the video it is going to be available on youtube you, uh, it is called promine and you can find it in uh, uh, live videos so it is there and well, we will see, uh, we, we don't have the programmation for the, the next free courses, but you can follow us on our social media. And, and there the, we will tell you what we have for you. And again, the certificates, you can get them when we send you an email and you have to answer a few questions. And so I will just check quickly so sorry to interrupt you Vianney just about yeah. the certificate uh write us first at info at and then they will send you the test so for those who wish it wish to have the certificate write us to info at and then we, you will receive the small test and the certificate and uh, yeah yeah yeah, so write to us at info at promine.com. I already sent the email in here. And just one second. Does anyone have another question before we, we leave? Yeah, you already sent the email in chat. It's info at promine.com. And if you have any questions about what we saw, if you are going to be practicing with uh, the drawing that we send you, uh, you can write to me. Uh, my email is B. Hernandez at promine.com is on the chat as well. Uh, so yeah, if you are practicing with the drawing if you, and you have any question, you can uh, send an email and yeah, it's it's on the chat. It's info at promine.com and my email is bhernandez at promine.com. If you can't see it, I will just write it in here. So it is info at promine.com. And my email is b Fernandez at promine.com. And you can follow us in our social media. We have we are in Facebook, uh, Instagram, LinkedIn and uh, YouTube, and you can find this video on YouTube. Okay. Also, if you, if you didn't get the drawing, you can send us an email to info or to me. And I will send you the drawing. And you will have available your trial license for around uh, one week. And uh, yeah, we will send us an email to get the certificate. And we will send you the questions in uh, uh, around four days. And then when we have all the answers, we, we will set the certificate. So, um, 
Yeah, it depends on where we when we get the your answers, but probably by the beginning of the next month you will get your certificate. And well, if you don't have any other question, then thank you for joining to our free course. And don't forget to follow us in our social media. You can check the video on YouTube. And have a good day. Bye.